talk to you about the Fona kit. Now, I know we have the scalpel finger bougie technique and that's pretty much been adopted universally, but let's take you back a little bit to the bad old days and remember kits like this. Now, these kits were confusing, they were full of things you didn't need like guide wires and tracheal hooks and trousseau dilators. Uh, along came the scalpel finger bougie technique. And Everyone loved this technique for a number of reasons. I love this technique. I continue to use this as my go-to technique. And that was because, you know, it really simplified the procedure when you're in a moment of crisis, which made it easier to perform. So there was a lot of cognitive offloading here. Uh, it sped things up. You didn't have to dig around a kit and try to find what you were looking for. Uh, and bottom line, it's just a very effective rescue technique for a surgical airway. All you need is a scalpel, uh, a bougie, and a 6 ET tube and your own skill and you can save a life. But along the way, I think we forgot some of the benefits of having a kit. And while some places do have kits that are dedicated to the scalpel finger bougie technique, for the most part, people are just using the tools they already have in their department. And I'm gonna tell you why I think that's a bad idea and why you should be reconsidering putting together a Fona kit or getting one from a supplier so that you can have this ready for you when you need it. Let's get into it. All right, let's talk about why the scalpel finger bougie technique is great and it's here to stay, but how a kit can make it better. First off, let's talk about the ways that repurposing tools for a different procedure than they're intended can have consequences. I think the scalpel finger bougie technique is no different. Um, when you're using the scalpel finger bougie technique, one of the first things you'll notice is that your bougie is just too long. Uh, one of the things that happens with a long bougie is that you can inadvertently shove it too far into some of the into the right main stem or other bronchial tree and actually cause injury. The other thing is, is that the proximal end that's near you is sticking way out like this and can whack you in the head or hit your partner in the head who's help, try, just trying to help you out and nobody wants that. Um, so bougie too long, ET too, is too long. And securing it can also be problematic if anyone has ever done this technique. Uh, you, can, you can really see how a long ET tube on the neck rather than in the oropharynx can be problematic. A lot of the tools you use to secure an ET tube when you've intubated somebody uh, through the oropharynx aren't, uh, aren't feasible. And then you've got to search for a tie or a string or some tape or some other way to secure that ET tube that's now sticking way out uh, in, in the air and can easily be dislodged. Finally, uh, when you're using repurposed tools, uh, oftentimes if they're not bundled together, it can just take a long time to get them all together, even though it's only two or three things. You may think, oh, that scalpel is right there or the bougie is right there. Um, but maybe it's uh, in a different place than where the scalpels are and perhaps you know when you're searching for that ET tube You've got to search through a whole bin of ET tubes of different sizes and it takes time to find the 6O tube that you want So for all of these reasons uh, Just using found objects and tools in the emergency department to perform scalpel finger bougie is really to my mind suboptimal uh, now you can be very diligent and you can organize them and put them and make sure that they are in your difficult airway card or in a drawer well organized, maybe bundled into a bag in sort of a semi-formal kit, uh, but it's still suboptimal. What I prefer is some of the new kits that are coming out that take the scalpel finger bougie technique and uh, apply the value of a kit but also provide the right tools rather than just using found objects and this is the uh, the kit that uh, we currently have in our department uh, and I love this kit it's it's uh, simple it's just uh, it's all bundled together just like any other kit you unfold it you put it on the table in front of you uh, and you've got a scalpel you've got uh, a short bougie as you can see long enough to be able to uh, deliver the tube, but uh, not so long that it's going to be flopping around. So the bougie the, that is uh, delivering the tube or helping you railroad the, tu the tube into place is the right size. Um, if you look, the ET tube is really more like a Shiley. It's a small, short 6.0 ET tube with some fasteners uh, and a balloon and cuff. Uh, and as you can see, once you put that in with the, into the patient, it's not going to be sticking out you know, 12 inches into the air and uh, be likely to dislodge. Um, if you look over on the far right, it's got a, a, a little soft pad with a, 
Velcro to be able to secure it. It's got your 10cc syringe right there. And it's even got a little bit of an adapter, although I think this is a, an added accessory that's not necessary. Uh, I think just being able to have that adapter and then also being able to suction through it um, uh, is a nice little handy addition to the whole kit. And as you can see, this is just so much easier, right? It's got everything you need and nothing you don't. So unlike the old kits, it's actually designed for the scalpel finger bougie technique and it's adapted the tools to perform that technique rather than trying to repurpose tools for other re that are used for other reasons, like a long 70 centimeter bougie. So as you can see here, the bougie is the right size, the ET tube's the right size, securing it's easy, and using a kit like this is just another way to improve cognitive offloading because you don't have to worry or wonder about where that one piece of equipment is, where that 602 is, or where that bougie might be. So here's my feeling about it. The scalpel finger bougie technique is great, but because everybody's using it, we've lost a little bit of the value of a kit. And I'm glad that kits like the one I just showed you are making a comeback because while scalpel finger bougie is great, a great kit and make it better. All right, that's it for now. I hope you found this useful, uh, and I will see you on the other side of this video.